All right, we're going to go ahead and get into the L of GLOW, which is love. I'm going to turn it over to our chief mentoring director of God's Heavenly Children, Joe Glover. So everyone give it up for Joe. Go, Joe! Hey, how y'all doing tonight? Yeah, having a good time? Yeah. So, very first thing we talked about was grace. Once we understand a little bit about God's grace, we can, we can uh, start to understand about God's love. That L word, love. So, what the world defines as love it's basically, uh, in the Webster's Dictionary, it basically says it's an intense feeling of deep affection. The Bible actually goes a little bit deeper to that. It's not necessarily just about that. It's not about necessarily boyfriend-girlfriend type relationships. It's not about necessarily uh, having a good time with uh, your friends. It's There's a lot of different aspects to love. The Bible actually goes into discussing there's four different types that the, Greek, the Greeks use. First you have storage, which is basically affection. It's kind of like when you just really like something or you like really like somebody, you're infatuated. That's what storage is. Then you have phileo. Phileo is friendship or affectionate love, which is kind of like your brother, your family, that kind of type of love. Then you have your eros, which is basically the type of love that if you were to have for like say your mate or love um, it, it could be for your mate or somebody that is your significant other then what what I really want to talk about is agape now agape love is the deepest love that there is it's the love that God has for every single one of you out here it is what we call unconditional love it is a sacrificial love. See, in John 3.16 in the Bible, it says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Basically, God loved you so much, that no matter what you have done wrong, I don't care if you've lied, I don't care if you cheated, I don't care if you stole, I don't care what you've done in this world. There's nothing in this world that you could have done that would keep you, God's love from you. He loves you so much that it doesn't matter what you have done in this life. He died for you. This is what we call that unconditional love. For it says in Romans 5.8 that God demonstrated His love for us and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. I, I guarantee you, everybody out here has at least one point in time in their life lied, stole, or cheat, done anything like that. See, the thing is, it doesn't matter. God doesn't care. He loves you regardless. He wants that intimate relationship with you. See, in 1 John 4.10, it says, And this is love, not that we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. The word propitiation means to take our place. It's, it's as if this. Let's say you're in court. You've, you've committed murder. And you're standing before the judge, and the judge is getting ready to throw down the gavel. And what Jesus does is he walks in and he says, I will take that. Pl I will take the punishment for what that person has done. That's how much God loved you. It doesn't matter what you've done in this life. This is what you call unconditional love. Regardless on if we choose to accept him or not, Jesus died for you. There is no auto. And he died because he loves you. Because he wants that intimate, personal relationship with you. He wants to know you personally. He wants to take care of you. He wants to heal you. He wants to make himself known to you. Would you like to run down to a gas station? See, this is the whole purpose of why he died for us. 
so that he could have that personal, intimate relationship with you and have eternal life with you. He wants your company. He wants to be with you. Not that he needs it, because he's God. He has everything, but he wants it. He wants to have that relationship with you. And all you have to do is choose to love him. Choose to love him and believe in him and for what he has done. And that you will make him the Lord of your life. That is all you have to do. That's all he asks of you. To me, I believe this is the greatest and most important decision that you can make in your life. But this is the thing that no one, no one can do this for you. You have to choose to do it for yourself. If you don't know him, I pray that tonight that God's love will be shown to you and that you will be receptive of that. Because, like I said, he loves you. It's, it's, it goes along with grace that there's nothing that you could do to have that relationship with him except for to love him and believe in him. That's all he desires from you. He doesn't care. He doesn't care what background you are, what you've done, or anything. All he wants is your love. And I just want to say now that if any of you would like to make that decision tonight, any of us leaders in this ministry are here for you, and we want to uh, pray with you if you would like to make if you would like to make that decision. So basically, with love. The, the next thing we have to talk about is obedience. For it says in John that if you love God, you obey His commandments. So we're going to get into talking about obedience. Thank you guys for being here tonight. Really appreciate all of you guys. And uh, continue to have some fun. We got, like I said, we got a lot of music out for me, for you. And uh, I'm going to turn this back over to Lika. Yes. All right, let's give it up one more time for Joe Glover. Yeah.